do my, going to do my nails today. I've got therapy this, well, an hour or two. And then I'm going down to see the grandson. Let's see if I can find Jesus. Yeah, I found you now. Found you. Sounds down good. We're cooking with gas. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Still got this beard rash. I wish it would go away. It's annoying. I think it's maybe on masks. Do you know that? Go for girl. Good morning, Ella. Good morning. Good morning. Put it on live chat instead of top chat. I've got different nails to put on today. Pip, good morning, good morning. I'm taking you to Bannockburn tomorrow. See, tomorrow we're off to Bannockburn Visitor Centre. So we are. Um, I looked it up online and everything, so I know how to get there. Ju Juella, good morning to you. So I know how to get to the Visitor Centre. So tomorrow, um, round about nine o'clock, we'll go to Bannockburn. So I've got nails here I'm going to put on. Caroline, good morning, good morning. I hope you're doing good. How do you open this? How do you open the bag? Hmm. I've got beautiful nail polish that I've never used yet, but I'm going to use is Barry M Under the Sea nail polish. It's a beautiful green colour. I'm excited about tomorrow. Um, to get in, it's £7.50 to get in. But I don't care. I'm taking these. We're going in. There's a gift shop. God knows what I'll be buying in the bloody gift shop, eh? Who knows? <laughs> Would you make of that? No, that Joella, that guy knew, didn't he? That guy knew that the trousers were tight as... Tight as a, a duck's ass at 50 fathoms. Or tight as a shark's ass. <laughs> Hey there, Marshall. Good morning, my beautiful ladies in Vegas. Right, let's see what these nails are like. The dogs are over there. Think it's treats. It's not treats. It wasn't good, wasn't it? Not Heather. It wasn't a good look. It wasn't a good look. I don't know MD that would be going oh to that. I was like, oh, for God's sake, put it away. He knew what he was doing. Let's face it. He knew that the trousers were way too snug. Way, way too snug. And don't, I don't think that's comfortable for a guy. I mean, I don't know. I've not got guy parts. But I, I'm just thinking that can't be comfortable, can it? Being that tight. <laughs> I know, Heather, I know. <laughs> I know, I wouldn't... It wasn't, mm, it wasn't a good look. But th there's a lady in the picture and her face does it. Her, her face tells us all what we're thinking. Mmm, Nasty. <laughs> Nasty. Nasty as a. Right, let's see what other nails. Oh, they're different kind of. Some of them are like that, and some of them are like that. Weird. Weird. Let's see what else we got. What the hell? Right, let's see what we've got here. Eh, this looks like thumb ones. I made the same face also, Heather. Oh, Pip, you need to go and look at my Facebook. It's nasty. <laughs> Be prepared. <laughs> it's not. I thought we would start off Monday the way I normally start it off. You know, right? Straight in the gutter, but straight, straight in the gutter. There you go. Oh, Pip, it's this. Mm. It's not not a nice look. Yeah, too tight, too tight. Do, do they know called, do they know, call, here Pip, I'll put it on Twitter for you, give me a sec. Pip, I'm going to put it on Twitter for you. <laughs> it's too good. It's too good for you not to see. It'll make you never want to have time again, this guy, this guy. Mm, see, even just looking at it now. Mm. Right, Pip. <laughs> uh, where are we? Pip, I'm sending it in your DMs. <laughs> your, your DMs are getting that. Oh. Wait, wait a minute. 
Right. <laughs> I can't. I just can't. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, Pip. <laughs> Pip, go and have a look. <laughs> Sky. <whistles> My beautiful Sky. Good morning, good morning. Sky is terrible. It's not the most pleasant picture to wake up to. I do apologise, but you know what I'm like? Right, now I've lost nails. Nails have went missing. I'm missing a nail there. <laughs> it happened to it. It's down there. Right. <clears throat> Heather Marshall, my beautiful ladies, I hope you have a lovely night. Sweet dreams and give your wee kit kitties a, a wee clap for me. Pip, what'd you make of that? Now that guy knew, eh? Oops, oops, is my trousers a bit tight? I don't know, come on now. He knew exactly what was going on there. He knew what was happening. I mean, it must. did he not even look at himself before he left the house? So many questions. So, so many questions and so many eels. Right, where's the pinky nails? There's some no pink, right, what's this? See, I got these from Amazon, these nails. That's not a pinky nail. What's in here? They have different kinds of nails. Oh, I'm all over the place. Right, definitely, right, I've got one, two, one, one, two, three. We should have another two lots of nails. I can't wait to take this more. I've I've Google mapped it, so listen, see if see if we get lost, we get lost. But I don't think we'll get lost. I think we'll be okay. And as I said, I've checked the visitor centre. Uh, Seven fifty to get in. So, and then listen, we're going to the gift shop. I don't know what I'm going to buy, but we will we'll be coming away with William Wallace stuff. <laughs> I'll be coming away with blue face paint and stuff like that. I'll get my face painted. I know, but go for girl. It, was, it wasn't nice. It wasn't nice. Right, what ones have I got? Right, I've got them. So these are the middle nail. That's a bit big, that one. Oh, they're a tad bit big, so they're not no, no good. Put them away. Right, is there no pinky nails in the house? There, they're pinky nails. Right. No, they're not. They're too big as well. This is doing my head in. They're kind of small. Let's have a look. I'm excited. See, I took you today, but I've got um, my therapy today. See, that's way too big for a pinky, that, Neil. I've got my therapy today. And then I'm going down to see my grandson. Listen, my, my he's smiling, I swear to God. He's smiling and he's going, goo. He's five weeks old. Five weeks old and he's going, goo, like that. I'm amazed. <laughs> oh, that's, that's, a, that's a closet flasher, isn't it? That's a closet flasher. And listen, see if you were to be talking to him, it'd be terrible because your eyes would be going down like that. And you'd be trying, don't look down, don't, Linda, just talk to him. Oh, it's a lovely day, and Don't look down, Linda, it's beautiful today. Look at the lovely sunny weather. Stop looking down. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I can't wait. I'm not taking Jason with me because I'm going on the motorway and I don't want people crashing their cars. Why is there no pinky nail? Am I just crazy? Have they gave me a full thingy and no pinky nails? Two, four. Right, one, two, three, zero, big, six, five. They're all huge. You know what? I'm gonna to have to. I'm gonna to have to make a pinky nail. Right, I'm gonna to need to just make a pinky nail. Right, they're pretty big, but we'll just need. We'll just need to wing it. Yes, Pip. I'll be doing my rocking chair Olympics. Do you know it was a bit chilly yesterday though. It was beautiful. It was minus two this morning. See when I went into the car, it was minus two. 
I had my big, big coat on. It's not much to look at the coat. You know, I look ugly as hell in it, but I'll tell you, it's a warm, warm coat. Right, we're just going to need to cut the sides of these to make a pinky nail. What kind of terrible false nails are these that don't give you a pinky nail? Right, I'm obsessed now. Stop saying pinky nail. Right. I'll, need to, I'll need to make a pinky nail, so we need to cut. We need to cut the sides. Let's see. That's a bit better. Right, we're just making pinky nails. There's one. Oh, he's he is. He's he's the kind to. But listen, that would be embarrassing Stan talking to that guy. Do you know I had a similar situation, and it was when I was seventeen years old. And I went to, it was Yugoslavia at the time with my ex-husband. And we didn't know, but there was a lot of nudity going on. There was a lot of, like, nudist beaches and stuff like that, right? We were, we didn't even know this. We were, didn't even know this kind of stuff went on. But here we walked in this corner, and there they were. There was about four or five of them all playing volleyball. Volleyball. Absolutely nude. Jumping up in the air and stuff like that, right? I couldn't get out of it. And this man came over to ask us the time. What time is it? You know, and I was looking at my watch like that. Ah, because you don't want to be looking down. She was pure chat and mute, right? I've made pinky nails. Right. But, do you know, we get used to the nudity. <laughs> it's, it's amazing. See, when you first go on holiday, you're kind of took back. The very first thing I, I noticed, when I, and this, this is true, I'm not being, I'm not being bad at them, but the first thing I noticed... When I went on holiday to Yugoslavia at the time, was a German couple absolutely nude on a balcony. I was like, what the hell's going on here? I don't know. <laughs> I actually went nude myself in my balcony. But my balcony, there was bushes and nobody could see. But I just thought, here, yeah, do if they're doing it, I'm doing it. And I was, I, was all, I was all nice and tight and stuff at the time, you know what I mean? See, now it'd be, <laughs> it wouldn't be a good look. <laughs> I'd be like that guy. People going, oh god, put it away, put it away. I couldn't go nude. I wouldn't. I wouldn't be comfortable. And anyway, I told you the story about my neighbour that went topless in Greece, and she didn't put any kind of lotion or something like that on, and she burnt the nipples off herself. She had to wear this big brace thing, this big thing right around her boobs for the entire holiday. And I always wonder, see, I mean, it was blazing heat. Now, things are going to get sunburned. <laughs> Sensitive places are going to get a wee bit of sunburn. You don't want that. I'd be nipping like hell, that. And you couldn't really shove a sunblock on it, could you? I mean, do you think you all this kind of stuff? Right. Now, I've lost my middle nails again. I've lost my middle nails Right, I need to get more in the middle nails. What the hell? I don't know what I'm doing this morning. I'm all over the place. But when I go to my therapy, I can tell my therapist that I've done my makeup every day for over a week now. I've uh, I've done my makeup. Sky, it's a, do you know it was a beautiful feeling? See, when I was swimming, topless, it was the most it was the most beautiful feeling in the world. When I had, that was back when I had boobies, you see. And it was all, like, free and stuff. <laughs> Joanne, good morning to you. Thank you so much, Joanne, for coming in and spending some time with me. I'm doing my nails and just rabbiting on a bit nudity, of course. <laughs> welcome to the welcome to the gutter. Because I put a picture up on my Facebook this morning. It was a bit... Mm, it was a bit rude. That's no right, though, isn't it? No, that's no right. I mean, you could see everything. You could see absolutely everything. It wasn't a good look. He must have looked at himself in the mirror and thought, I'm looking banging hot today. Everybody's going to love me today. Do you got golfer girl? It's the most beautiful feeling, isn't it? 
when you're in the water and you're, you're, um, how God made you. <laughs> Is it not allowed anymore? Well, see, back, back in the day, everybody was topless. Everybody was, so you kind of get used to it. Do you know what I mean? The nudity part, absolutely nude. I couldn't get used to that. But topless, you were just like, oh, it's just somebody going topless. It didn't really bother you. But the nude bit, I'm like, sunburned, sunburned guy. Make sure you've got your sunblock on there, eh? Oh, God, look what I've done. I glued my fingers together. <laughs> this is me, look. I've actually glued my bloody fingers together. Oh, God, it's going to... Oh, God, look, ouch. Oh... I've actually pulled the skin off myself. <laughs> this is what I do. See if it's not false nails, it's bloody eyelash glue. Listen, see, well, I couldn't do it now, go topless because they uh, all my scarage. Mm. All my scarage. I wouldn't feel right. And anyway, I wouldn't want that. All my scars getting burnt. That would be terrible. So. I wouldn't do it. Do you know what? It's easy to talk. Go for girl. See that wee um, guy you gave me. The wee. Uh, hold on a minute. He's going like hell up there. A wee sumo guy. See him? <laughs> and next time's a wee bear that my cousin sent me. But he goes crazy, so he does. He goes crazy up there. Beth, good morning. Beth, I've glued my fingers together and everything this morning. It's all kicking off. Beth, tomorrow I'm taking you to um the Bannockburn Visitor Centre. I'm taking you tomorrow. Hopefully I'll be okay filming. Did you see always pure going for it? I always glue my fingers together. And then I'm going to be taking these lots of places. Joella, my last house was haunted to hell. My last house, I had more than one spirit in the house. We used to hear it running up and down the stairs in the middle of the night while we were in our beds. Um, we was, I was sitting, this is the, absolutely true, I was sitting reading my son a bedtime story. I used to read him a bedtime story every every night. I haven't even got a bloody thing with me. Oh. Yeah. I was sitting reading him a bedtime story and his bed was here and then the bathroom was down the hall, right? So... I'm sitting and I see this figure just, uh, it, it was like floating. It just like, you could see the head and the shoulders and it just went by into the bathroom, right? And I was like, who's oh, that went into the bathroom? I see some, hold on a wee minute. And I went in, up and into the bathroom and nothing was there. And about maybe a few weeks later, Amanda said she woke up and the exact same thing was standing at the bottom of our bed. Standing at the bottom of our bed. Joella, we had um, like that that spirit, right? I'm sure that was the spirit of a man. Um, but we also had one that was a kick and I, I always felt as if it was a child. I just get the feeling that it was a child. And it used to hide things and and stuff like that. Do you know what I mean? It used to hide stuff and and uh, like prank us as if it was like having a, having a laugh with us. Um, so we had all that going on and do you know we had this we had this cupboard upstairs and it was like the boiler cupboard and see every time we were in that cupboard activity would happen and sometimes nothing would happen for like months and months and months right nothing would happen at all and then all of a sudden it would all kick off again there was no there was no pattern really the only thing is if anybody went into that cupboard it didn't seem to like it and we'd go crazy but where, as, where we stayed, it was kind of marshy land, and I'm sure it was all kicking off by William Wallace and all that back then. And Jackson, good morning to you, good morning. 
I'm sure that that was the land that we were on. We kind of get used to it. Do you know we we kind of get we kind of got to to live with it. Lamps would turn on that weren't weren't even plugged into the socket. Oh my goodness, go off a girl. See, it can be it can be a bit scary, but we can we can get used to it. Do you know what I mean? Like, oh, shut up. I'd be like, in the middle of the night. I'd be running up and down the stair and I'd be going, shush. And Amanda would be shouting, and Mom, can you hear that? And I'm going, yes, darling. I wish it would just shut up. I'm trying to sleep here. Um, so it was uh, it was really, really haunted. And a lot of, see a lot of my old videos as well. People see orbs and stuff. Go, oh my God, there's an orb. And I hadn't noticed at the time. And then I look back and ah, you, you see orbs and stuff. So it is, it's haunted. So see where we're going tomorrow. By God, is it haunted there? Think about that the Bannockburn is haunted there. So many people died there. So we're going to go to a right haunted place tomorrow. Ooh, I'm taking a pack lunch. I'm going to take a pack lunch. I think I'm going to take, make cheese and take a pack of cheese and onion crisps and have cheese and cheese and onion. I think I'm going to have that tomorrow. And I'm going to take my backpack. <laughs> I've got it all planned. It's all planned. I'm looking forward to it. As I say, I Google mapped it yesterday, so I should, I, I kind of know. It's only, I will be there, see when I leave here, we'll be there in about 20 minutes or something like that, but it's not going to take us long to get there. <laughs> Sky, ooh, la moon, Linda, la moon. I'll be like, Sky, please, I'm trying to sleep. <laughs> Yeah, cheese with cheese and onion crisps. I love that. I love that for a for a snack. And it's dead, dead cheap, and I think it's tasty as anything. So I think I'll be making that tomorrow. We'll, we'll take that with us. <gasps> Jesse, I need to. You need to share with us these stories because we all love that. We all love a bit of ghost stories. As I say, where we're going tomorrow is going to be haunted as hell. We might even see spirits going about. The, the better, a better no be looking for any castle where people jump out on you, because as I say, I I end up I end up lashing out. Oh, and Jackson, I understand that. I understand. That. I was pretty freaked out when I saw the big um, guy. And all it was was like the head and the, the shoulders kind of thing. i never seen legs. And it just went straight into the bathroom like that. You know what I mean? So much so that I stopped reading my son's book and thought, I need to see who that was. Who was that? They went into the toilet and it was nobody. Weird. And as I say, the, the child one used to hide stuff. It took, my keys were lost. My keys were lost for... About two weeks, right, I'd lost my keys. I'd looked everywhere. And in that two weeks, I'd been tidying my living room, hoovering up, right? I don't know how many times I hoovered. I'd a Dalmatian dog at the time, so I was hoovering, if not, if not every day, every second day I was hoovering the carpet, hoovering the carpet, right? And this one day I was in the toilet and then I came into the living room and the keys were sitting there on the floor after, like, two weeks of vanishing, and I went, oh, I mean, it took my breath away. I was like, oh my God. You know, right in the floor, right on the middle of the floor where, you know, I'd hoovered a million bloody times. And I was the only one in the house. And then another time, another time, I was, uh, all I had was five pound, right, because I'm a broke bitch. Um, all I had was a five pound note and I wanted to go and get milk and bread or something like that for the wee shop. So, um, I had this five pound note and I was like, right, we'll go to the shop and get milk and bread. And uh, when I went to get my the five pound, it was gone. And I was like, where the hell's the five pound? So I knew I had it in the kitchen somewhere. And I was like, right, that's it. I went round all my worktops like this, touching them and went, it's not here. And then to the next work worktop, it's not there. It's not here. The fridge, it's not there. I'm round everywhere rubbing the top and going, it's not there, it's not there. Right, five pound note disappeared and I thought, well, that's it. We're not getting any milk or bread. Right. So about 
an hour later or something, I went down to make myself a cup of coffee. I was sitting next to the kettle where I had been doing that. And I went, oh, that kind of took me back as well. See, that kind of gave me a wee, a wee fright. So I think that was like a, a child that was just been mischievous that was wanting to play. Do you know what I mean? Play with but it was there. Uh... N. Jackson, I wish I could find that picture. I don't know where it's went to. It's disappeared. See if I ever find it. I'm going to post it on my Facebook. It was... Um, we had a wee dog before. We had Poppy. And uh, when we got... And she, she passed away when she was only a year and a day. And um, we got Poppy. And we'd been taking pictures of Poppy and Mikey, right? And not thought anything about it. So about a year later, Poppy was about a year, we were looking back in the photographs and there's this one photograph and you can see three dogs in it. All I had was Mr. Mike and Poppy. You could see them playing, Mr. Mike and Poppy playing and you could see another dog in the thing, different colour. It was wee Molly, it was my mother dog. So in a way, it was kind of sad, but in a way we were quite happy because it looked as if she was playing with them as well. So... I wish I could find that picture. I wonder if it's on my old Facebook. Let's have a look, because it's, it's an amazing thing. It's an amazing thing, and um, it just shows you that the, the animals as well. I hope, it's, I hope I've still got it here. Let's see. I hope I've got it. This was not this this was taken um this was taken on a tablet so it wasn't as if it was uh like the old films that you could thing it and it was it was not been photoshopped or anything like that. Right, see all photos. Oh, I hope I've got it. Do you want to see my chemo hair? Do you want to see my hair with my chemo? <laughs> look how curly it came in. But you see this, this is my hair when... Look. You see the curls? That's how my hair came in after the, the chemo. Oh, curly. <laughs> I don't know how it does that. It does that though. Right, it's not in that album. Albums. Right, fingers crossed it's here. It's amazing that that picture has just vanished as well. Let's try this album. Oh, for goodness sake. 
I can't believe this. It was the most amazing picture to it and it's just vanished into thin air. Just vanished. It might be making poppy. Let's look for making poppy. Ah, oh, my wee poppy when she was a pup. Vanished into thin air. But it was it was it made me feel good because it made me feel as if um, Poppy was still with us and playing with the dogs. Oh my god, some of these pictures. Me with my long hair. My tattoos. Wild life. It wouldn't have been wild life. Halloween. Christmas. Mikey. Let's have a look in the album Mikey. Let's see if there's anything. Oh, he was such a cute wee puppy dog. St. Bernard. See, they're the ones that have got the... The keg, isn't it? It's like a, a, a boozy keg or something that they have around them. Let's look at wildlife. What have I got in wildlife? Squirrels and spiders. <laughs> That's my wildlife, squirrels and spiders. Wee cute things I've wrote. Right, that's my cross stitching. It wouldn't be in there. Oz, Amanda, Halloween, it wouldn't be there. My 40th. Listen, let's have a look at my 40th, right? That's That was like 10 years ago. So let's look look at my 10 years ago. If it was, let me do my nails. Yeah, I get sidetracked. <laughs> I'm the worst. See if I'm tidying up somewhere in a, like a drawer. I'm tidying up a drawer or something like that. It takes me ages because I'm like, oh, I forgot about that. Oh, I forgot about that. Deborah, good morning to you. Always great, so yes. Wait, you see me in my fortieth. Look at this. Look at boobies at the time. Look, there I am. Look, that was me when I was forty. Look, there I am. There, look. I don't know what I'm doing there. Ah, uh, I was getting a wee cake. Ooh, look at that one in me. Eh? That was me at 40. <laughs> I wish I could find that bloody picture though. I mean, I've tried everywhere. How was your week in future ve future a venture future adventure? Is that how you say it? Same to you. Good morning to you. Good morning. Good morning. Sky, my hair was like a see when it when it, it was chemo. It was like tight, tight curls. And even, as I say, even my eyebrows were coming in curly. Like, we we tight curly hairs like that. I was like, what's going on? I don't know why it does that to you, but that's what chemo does. Right, see, I've not thought this through because this nail file is absolute pants. Thank you, N. Jackson. I've got a sparkle when I'm talking to you. You make me happy. I'll be, oh, I've got a nail file here. I'll be talking about you today to my therapist. <laughs> I like to do it. 
So I'm, I'm quite happy. So I can say to my therapist, I have sat here um, for over a week now and done my makeup. And uh, I have felt a wee bit better about myself um, when I do that. Still got the still got the moments that I hate myself. I wish I wish I never had that. I wish that feeling would go away. I don't know why I'm like that. I just am. I'm working on it though. In fact, was it last week? Last week or the week before, I had a quite bad day. I was feeling right horrible about myself, and I I said to Amanda, Amanda, I'm going to send me a picture of the wee fella. So she did, and then I felt better straight away. So. So that I can tell the therapist that as well, and I won't be crying because I've got I've got I've got makeup on. <laughs> yeah, and Jack's in the come in tight tight curl like that, like really really curly like that. They were coming in, I had to pluck them because they were like out of control. <laughs> Same to you. I've always kind of had the self loathing thing. You know what I mean? I've always uh, felt as if I'm I'm never. I'm never good enough and all oh, this. You know, nobody could uh, hate me more than I hate myself at times. Deborah, he definitely is. He, he, he just he brightens up my day, the wee fella. Um, but I'm, I'm trying to work on it. I really am trying to work on it. I'm doing my, I wouldn't do anything stupid. I mean, I had a, a bad moment last year, but that will never happen again because I've got too much to, to live for. But there's no, there's no point me um not being honest with the therapist. See if I was see if I go here today and I don't tell her that I had a bad day, um then what's the point of going to therapy? If I'm going to lie about it, so I'm going to. T t she's a lovely, lovely woman as well, and she watches you. <laughs> she's she watches us and stuff like. She's going oh, oh I I have watched a few of your things. And I'm like oh god. I'll be probably a gutter stream until I'll be like when I'm like to the police. <laughs> Same to you. I've to go. I've got other therapy to go to as well, but they've not got in contact with me. There's a there's a waiting list. There's a waiting list for the the therapy. But um. I am I'm, I'm really really honest with her. I'm honest with her. I remember the last time I never done the homework that she asked me to do, but I had COVID at the time, so I mean I, I didn't need to go in and tell her lies. There's no point. Um, doing that, going in and telling lies. So I'm I'm I, I'm very very honest and open, and the thing is I feel safe because it's a wee safe place. Lizzie, good morning to you. ASMR craft video. Good morning, how are you? What's been going on? How are you? I'm taking you out tomorrow. We're going to Bannockburn Visitor Centre. I'm taking you to Bannockburn tomorrow. That's where we're going. Where it will be haunted as hell. We might see some ghosts and kilts. <laughs> Same to you. I, I've been, I was saying to my therapist that I'm... I'm open and honest with all of you about it because I don't think we should be frightened to see it first. And I'll tell you the truth. See it first when I, I, I had to go to therapy. I was a wee bit embarrassed. I was. I was a wee bit embarrassed and I was like, people are going to hate me even more because, you know, I'm off my nut. That's the way I felt. Um, I, And I've went over all the kind of feelings. But see now, I don't think we should be embarrassed. See, if we had a broken leg, we would talk about, oh, I've got a broken leg and stuff like that, right? But see, if you've got a mental illness, you're frightened to say anything. One, because pe other people can't see what you're going through, right? The, oh, she's talking rubbish. They don't know what's going on in your brain. I've said to the therapist, see, sometimes in my brain, it's like the old thing that you see the devil on one side and an angel on the other side, and they're constantly at it in my brain. One of them, the devils tell me, you're no good, you're useless, you're a rubbish granny, you're a rubbish mum, you're a terrible YouTuber, everybody hates you. And then the other side, they're going, don't listen to him, you're great, everybody loves you, your grandson loves you. So sometimes in my brain, there's a battle going on. It's like a battle happening inside my brain. So I've, I've opened and talked about this. See, that's one of my problems as well is the, the menopause. 
um, going, going through that as well. Yes, my craft video, we're going to pan As I say, we might see ghosts in kilts. Ooh, la la. And I'm desperate. I would take a ghost in a kilt. I'm not even going to lie. <laughs> I'm taking you along, though. We're going there. It's 7.50 to get in, but I don't mind. I'm, I'm taking you in when we're going in. Oh, Jesse Bell, you'll be able to catch up. You'll, you'll be able to catch up later. Oh, golfer girl, you see, you're too kind to me. I love you all so much. Yeah, so, Ali, I mean, you have been through... I've took you through my whole life, basically, my my cancer battle and and all, all of this kind of stuff, right? And I think... Remember that story I told you about when I was a wee girl? It's true. And I was uh, in hospital, obviously, Um. And they wanted me to pose naked, or I think I think I had just my wee pants on, right? And they asked me would I do this, and it was for a medical journal thing, and it was to show other doctors and stuff like that, upcoming doctors scoliosis, the bend in my spine, and at the time, see when you're going through puberty, your shoulders are uneven, your hips are uneven, you're all uneven. Like that because of the bend in your spine. And they asked this, I mean, they said to me, Look, you don't need to do it if you don't want to, but um, it would help like other doctors and stuff. And I remember, even though I was so embarrassed, I said, Yes, I'll do it if it's going to help other people, I'll do it. And I'm, st I'm still got that attitude to now with um, talking about my therapy and all this kind of stuff. Um, you know. So that other people know you're not the only one that's going through it. Because I thought for a while I was the only one that was going through stuff like this. That was having this battle in my brain. Hey, golfer girl, see if he did wear a kilt, he would need to be a true Scotsman. I don't know many uh, pictures I had, see, when I got married. People, no, this was just what it was like back in the days. The guys were all true Scotsmen and they were all getting pictures taken up their kilts. I don't know many times, I, I, like pictures I've seen, it was a bum, a bum picture, a picture of a, a, a cheeky an ass. <laughs> I was like, for God's sake. Who's taking all the pictures up the guy's kilts? It wasn't me, I can assure you. I was, I was just married. <laughs> See, this is a NJX. I don't know if they'd be able to fix my spine now, but I would, I'm a bit frightened, you know, for them to touch it. As I say, I've got the, the bend, it's right at the bottom of my spine, my scoliosis. Yes, my McShane, I'm live. Um, are you? Well, you're a Scot then, same to you. Uh, I, so it's the bottom of my spine, but I've also got this wee extra vertebrae or bone. And it's kind of jammed in the bottom of the spine as well. Uh, so it's a, bit of a, it's a bit of a nightmare. But I'm meant to be going, remember, I'm meant to be going to see about this uh, reflux thing. And they're thinking that maybe the spine's uh, leaning against the stomach. There's something going on, on with the spine. So I'm a bit worried about that. I hope everything's going to be all right with that. Because I, I really don't want them messing about with my spine. It's, it's something that you really don't want them to touch. Yes, yes, my craft video. But I was, I was a bit embarrassed at first. I was a bit embarrassed at first, but see, when I, I went in and I started talking to my therapist and stuff like that, I kind of, I felt better. I felt more open. And it's a wee safe space. You know, you feel safe when you're in there and you're uh, talking to the, the therapist and everything. And she's got a lovely, she'd be great at ASMR. She's got a lovely calm um, voice. <laughs> uh, see guys look good guys look good in kilts I must admit I do I do like a man in a kilt that's a hilarious video the one I shared you with the, the lassie that, that was obviously out of mind and there was the guys all playing bagpipes and stuff like that and she that was the one with the trousers God knows how that lassie's trousers stayed up she was trying to do a Highland fling or something like that. Absolutely blew it up. 
<laughs> uh, welcome to Scotland. In fact, Sophie sent me a picture the other day, oh my God. And it was uh, a wee boy, a wee, a, a, a wee boy about three or something like that, this very first time coming to Scotland. And there was a stranger on the bus showing him how to play the slot machines on the phone. <laughs> the slot machines on the phone. Aye. Aye, that's Scotland for you, huh? No, I'm taking these to a nice place tomorrow. Hopefully it's a nice day for us. Hopefully we've got a nice day. Goldust, I'm still waiting on my other appointment and that was from December for a psychologist or, or some other psychologist. I don't know. Psychiatrist. I don't know who the hell I'm saying. They've re referred me to somebody else anyway. I've only got another two visits with this lady. That's all you're allowed. Don't, don't give you so many visits and that's, that's your whack. That's you. Out you go. That's a, that's a bit... Do, don't you think that's terrible, though, that you're only allowed so many um, appointments and then that's it? That's all you get? You know, I'm still mental. Gonna help me? Yes, yeah, same to you. I've been doing all... I've been doing my wee homework and stuff like that. Um writing down feelings and stuff like that and things that trigger me but she said to me to try and do my makeup every day because I really enjoy doing that you know I feel good when I'm sitting there in my room doing my makeup and I've managed to do it for a week now and uh, I have actually felt better seeing I've got my face on I feel a bit better than when I've not I'll do another coat but look at them um, I love that. Barry M's nail polish is the best. See, she, she, she just, I mean, I don't need to write feelings or anything like that down. And I don't need to talk about a lot of stuff. Um, it's up She's. It's up to me. When I go in, um, I talk about, but she's, she's really, really, she's really, really good at um, making you feel... That you're all right and you're not you're no crazy. This is just what happens to people. The nail polish. It's called Under the Sea. Um Barry M. Hold on a minute, I'll see what shade is it? See what shade? Mermaid Tail. Mermaid Tail. Cause we've got to have nice nails for going here. But listen, I might pull. There might be there might be somebody somebody there uh, Beautiful the more. I'll need to put, I'll need to put on my lipstick. Oh no, I'll be wearing a mask. See that there's no point wearing lipstick because you wear a, you've got to wear your mask. You're still to wear your mask in Scotland. I think it's lifted now in England. Uh, you don't need to wear your mask, but in Scotland we still need to do it. But I think a lot of people are just wearing it anyway. They feel, they feel. If listen, see if you feel better wearing a mask. Just wear the mask. There, we'll fix the, the edges in a minute or two. That's pretty, I like that colour. It's 26 minutes past nine in the morning. Oh, see Avon, I'll need to have a look. Um, Elena does Avon, lovely Elena. Um, she does Avon if you are interested in getting some Avon. Uh, not many people. See, I've got the rash, and I'm sure it's where we wearing the, the mask now. I've got a rash on my face, and I think it's just where, and it's in the shape of a bloody mask, or beard. So I think that's where it is, it's where we're wearing a mask, so. But what can you do? If you've got to wear it, you've got to wear it. But I've seen that they might be doing another booster, did you see that? There we go. Yeah, I think I'll probably just wear one all the time as well. Did you see there's another booster? A spring booster? So I think we'll be getting that as well. I think we'll be getting the spring booster. There they are. But I'll be fixing them. A lovely, lovely colour. I really do like them. 
That's a bit disappointing with the nails, though, that there was no pinky one. I had to make a pinky one myself. I'm going to use these, my new wipes, my new nail polish removing wipes. Does this dry quickly? I'm frightened to touch them. I think we'll just need to keep getting boosters and see see if, if you're going to um if it's going to help. I'll just be getting them. Oh, but you know, well after see, I was fine after the vaccines. I was fine. Yeah, and I've had my booster as well, but I think they're going to you're you're just going to have to get boosters every so many months. But listen, I don't mind that. Let's see if it's going to help out then I don't mind. Right, let me I don't want to mess the nails up that I've just done. Right. They don't smell bad at all. Peach fragrance. I don't think they smell like peaches, but see peach peach fragrance. Is it only for over... See, I'm not sure about the... i just seen that they were talking about a spring um, vaccine. Let's do this. It's another beautiful day. But as I say, it was minus two. Did you see out my window? Wait, you see the sunshine? It's like, it's like Spain out there. Yeah, there we go. Look at the beautiful day again. I hope it's like that tomorrow. Oh my goodness, Lizzie. See, this is it. You just you, you never know how your uh, how it's going to affect you. But in the back of my mind, I always as I say, I always remember when it all started. And remember in Italy, and there was some people in Italy. And it showed you them in hospital beds and they were lying face down and it was just like all oh, this flame all coming out of their mouths terribly. Right, I've messed up that nail now. That nail's messed. I need to fix that nail. I need to fix that nail. I've messed it right up. Oh yeah, the beach. Do you know what? I might pluck up the courage and take us to the beach one day. How about that? Look, I'm doing good because usually I'm, I've got the fear, but I'm kind of wanting to travel with these now. It's a travel channel. <laughs> We've branched out. We're going to do travelling. See, I'm tempted to put, as I say, my water features out, but see if I'd have put my water features out at the weekend, they would have been smashed today because it was, I'd to scrape the car. I'd to scrape the car this morning. So, right, see, this is it. I'm full of, I'm full of glue, nail polish. I'm up to my eyes and it. That'll do. Did the groundhog... The groundhog did lie, didn't it? Because the groundhog says... Um, what was it? Six more weeks of snow. But saying that, is it not snowing over in uh, the USA at the moment? I was looking on... I've, I look at webcams and stuff. And I was looking at um, Wyoming. Right? There's a webcam in Wyoming. And I was looking at that and it was snowing the other day. That's next to Yellowstone Park. 
I'd love to go there one day, Yellowstone Park. That would be a sight to see. See the geysers. Maybe one day when I'm rich and famous. <laughs> Oh, yeah, see, this is it, Lizzie. Um, to protect others as well. You're best getting it. But listen, I, I don't I don't believe in um, forcing people to get it. I don't believe in that. I think people should have the choice to get it or not to get it. Um, at first, I wasn't going to get it, but... I'd love to see the Grand Canyon, but I might even go horseback riding down the Grand Canyon. I might even go horseback riding. No, me and a horse, it's terrible. I was getting a showing up off 12-year-olds. I was like 50. I there I've messed up my bloody nails again. In fact, they weren't even 12. They were like 8-year-olds. <laughs> On a horse. I was blown off it. <laughs> Screaming. <laughs> I was blown off the horse. The lady that was teaching me, she was going, would you stop screaming? Horses don't like that. And I was going, I can't help it. And I was screaming. I I went horseback riding once and that was it. I was like, it's not for me. <laughs> uh. Yes, see people that work with um the vulnerable and stuff like that. God, can you remember when it all first started, and they were moving people into care homes? Remember that? They had the 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 thing. That I'm not allowed to say on YouTube. Isn't it terrible that you're not allowed to say certain things? It's my craft video. Thank you for coming in. And tomorrow, as I say, we're off ski to Bannockburn. We're going to Bannockburn tomorrow. Yeah, people have got their own their own um, beliefs. There's a lot of religious people that I know, people that are very religious, that won't get the vaccine Um because they believe that um, if they're it's God's will if they get it or not kind of thing. That's that's the way they they, they look at it. So people have all got their own uh, beliefs, but I'm I'm get I get it anyway. I'm getting the I'm getting the the, the jag. If, it's, if there's another jag, I'll be getting it. So there's the nails. Oh, mermaid's tail. Well, this is for Bannockburn. I wonder, I don't even have anything tartan. I was thinking, I wonder if I should wear something tartan as we go to bed. Here, wouldn't it be a laugh if I painted my face like William Wallace? <laughs> wouldn't that be great? Wouldn't that be great if I painted my face like half, half blue like that? A couple of blue stripes. And uh, don't forget, I'm going myself to this place, right? So I'm, I'm, I'm a ticket for one, please. Imagine that dress like William Wallace. They'd be like, here, watch her. She's the something no right with her like that. Well, that I remember that. See, when I, in fact, Peter, I think when Peter was just born, there was a lot of people that were like, oh, no, um, I'm not vaccinating them. And there was children dying with measles. Right, that's not happened in an awful, awful long time. My kids all got their vaccine. They, they, I made sure they got their vaccines. And the grandson's getting his vaccine also. And you feel that bad because they don't know why you're getting jagged. They don't know why you're getting jagged. Sky, tomorrow's going to be... I'm, I'm saying I'm going to take a wee packed lunch with me so that we can sit outside, hopefully. We can sit outside next day. Um, Robert the Bruce. There's a big statue of Robert the Bruce. We, we'll sit there and we'll have our lunch, right? We'll have a wee snack. We'll have our... We'll have our, our um, is it brunch if it's before if it's if it's before twelve, I don't know. We have a breakfast lunch ish outside tomorrow. On the ground where a lot of stuff happened, a lot of bad stuff. God knows what it's going to be. I've never been to the visitor centre. It's going to be my first time. I've never been to the the. Bannockburn Visitor Centre. I drive by Bannockburn all the time and I'm going to like my car garage. I drive by it. But I've never actually went went to the visitor centre or anything like that. But I've got plans for us. I've got plan I want to take I want to do that. I want to take us places because it'll get me out and it'll get you out. 
That's okay, Jesse. I don't mind if you <laughs> write me a long letter. I read my letters, see when people send me things um, in Messenger and stuff like that. I read all of that. The only thing I don't read is like the YouTube comments. I read some of them. But see if I was to read all the YouTube comments, I'd be like, that's it, the channel's getting shut down. Because I get a as everybody does, you get a lot of people that really just want to say nasty, nasty things to you. And sometimes it sticks in your head. Sometimes it swirls in your, your head. Do you know what I mean? Some of these comments. So it's better for my mental health that I don't um, read all the YouTube comments. But my Facebook, nah, I'll read all them. This is that. Look, be prepared. You might hear me pee tomorrow because I'll, I'll be taking it. I don't know how to mute it. Do I know how to mute this? Let me see. Hold on. There. Did it go silent? Yes, I do. Same to you. I delete and block them. Did it go silent there? See, if it did, then that's all right. Then you won't hear me pee, but you can come into the cubicle with me. <laughs> You'll be coming into the cubicle with me, right? Because, <laughs> uh, you know, I don't want, I don't want you to hear me pee, but you, you've been in the cubicle. Oh, that's all right. These are my friends. I've known you a while now. I'll be like, you know how when you're at a, a pub where all your like, girlfriends and you all go to the toilet at the same time and you feel perfectly comfortable just doing a pee in front of them? I mean, you wouldn't do it any other time. There's no other time that you would do that. Same to you, nothing. I was just checking that I could mute my microphone so that tomorrow when I'm doing a pee, you don't need to hear me, <laughs> hear me doing it. <laughs> because I do, I need to pee quite a few, quite a lot. It's my age. Right, I better just leave these nails alone. So I'm going to go and listen, the next time I see you will be in the car, we're ready, make sure you've got your packed lunch, um, something to drink and all the rest of it, right? And we're off to get tomorrow, we're away a wee trip the more, I can't wait. And then, see the next day, I think we'll go down the canal, how about that? Maybe Wednesday we'll go down the canal, maybe we'll go to Greg's first and get a sausage roll and then I'm heading down to the canal with you, right? <laughs> we're, doing, we're going to be doing stuff... Same to you, we're going to be going to Bannockburn Visitor Centre in Bannockburn where all the action happened all the years ago, William Wallace and, and Robert the Bruce and all that kind of stuff. Um, so we're going there tomorrow. There'll be a lot of, there'll be a lot of fighting and I don't know what the, the Visitor Centre, but there'll be fighting and stuff like that. We'll all be kicking off. <laughs> so I'm going to give you all a big kiss now. Thank you so much for coming in. Jesse. I'll have a wee read at whatever you've um, wrote to me. What time tomorrow? It'll be after about nine o'clock tomorrow, nine o'clock, because I want the motorways to be kind of quiet. I'm not, I, I get the fear still going on the motorways, but with, with you's with me, I've got confidence when you's are with me, so you'll help me. See, if I get lost, I'll be like, God, is somebody sat nav, sat nav the road. <laughs> so I love you all so much, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye, everyone. <laughs>